Well, holiday weekend is upon us. We had a big change in the weather. I mean, yesterday at this time it was close to 70. It got colder, and we still have that chance of light rain and snow late tonight, right here in central North Carolina. We are dry now. They are getting some snow, as we just showed you a live picture up in the mountains. It's been slim picking so far for our ski resorts up there, so good for them. It's cold enough to make snow. They're getting it from the sky, and on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, the resorts are usually really busy. Uh, big difference compared to where we were less than 24 hours ago. Look at all the storm damage reports across the state before the front came through with the storms last night. Now we had a handful here, but they had a lot back to our west, including a confirmed tornado in Gaston, just northwest of Charlotte. So check on your friends and family back there, make sure they did okay, and make sure you've got the coat ready to, to go. Because while it got colder today, temperatures going to drop even more as we head into the weekend. So 40s and 50s right now. That kind of looks and feels like January. And it's a heck of a lot colder than where we were yesterday at this time. Look at the 24 hour temperature change 11, 14, 16. How about 18 degrees colder right now in Pittsburgh than where we were last night at 5 o'clock? And like I said, temperatures aren't done dropping yet. Plus, we've got the excitement of the possibility of a little bit of snow. This is not going to be a significant event. It's not going to impact travel. It's probably not going to stick. There might be a dusting on the grass or mulch or car or mailbox. You know how that works. But our temperatures will drop through the 40s tonight, then through the 30s overnight. And with wind, it's probably going to feel like the 20s. So if you are going to stay up late, and I mean, it's Friday night, so why not? This might be one of our only chances of snow this season, the way things have been going, from about 10 o'clock through midnight, through 1 and 2 a.m., and then wrapping up about 3 or 4. That's when we could see some light rain, Mixing in with some light snow, and again, the excitement that brings in central North Carolina. I wore my milk and bread socks tonight. Uh, I don't think you need to go to the grocery store. It's not that type of situation. But here's what's happening in the atmosphere. Cold front came through early this morning, and behind it, we've got this northerly flow that's bringing in the cold air. Well, there's also going to be some energy and moisture in the upper atmosphere that's going to come out of Virginia, and that's how this could all come together. So let's walk through how this is expected to go down. I'll pick things up at 8 o'clock, so in just a couple of hours. And we already start to see a little bit of moisture show up, but remember, it's dry in the surface, so a lot of that's going to evaporate before we actually see it on the ground. We get into the 10 o'clock hour. Again, a little bit of moisture starting to fall, maybe mixing in with some snow. But as we get toward midnight, 1 a.m., a little more moisture blossoming in the atmosphere. 2, 3 a.m., we still have some. 4 a.m., but by 5 and 6 a.m., it's gone. So if you go to bed early or if you sleep in tomorrow, you're going to miss it because I don't expect a lot of it to stick. So again, you got to stay up late, you got to get up really early. And it's not going to be a major event. And systems coming from the north like this are very finicky. I would not be surprised if it's just light rain. But I also wouldn't be surprised if it's a burst of light snow that maybe does accumulate for 30 minutes on the ground. So we'll wait and see. We'll be watching it like everyone else. It's always exciting around here. But the rest of the weekend will be dry and cold. Here's what I mean. We don't get out of the 40s tomorrow, and we're into the 20s Sunday and Monday morning. Sunny and 50 degrees on Sunday. Most of us have the day off for Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday. Should be a great weather day. But back to work and school Tuesday, we've got good rain chances. 60s are back Wednesday. Rain in 60s next Thursday. And the rest of your exclusive 10-day forecast brings another shot of cold air with 50s and some rain chances for next weekend. Guys?